fall on the bottom. Quarter past two. Why is Rama not here yet? He promised me that he would be here by two. His hall is not on time. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Ali. Can I come in? It's so hot outside. Okay, come in. Why are you late, Rama? Ah, huh? late? But I'm on time. No, you are not. Do you know what time it is now? Of course I do. It's two o'clock, right? No, it's not. It's two fifteen now. Oh really? I must have read the time wrongly. Yes, you must have. <laughs> Actually, I do not really know how to tell the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Ali. <laughs> Suri, it's you. Oh, I'm so happy to see you again. Ah. Rama. This is my friend Suri. Hi, Suri. <laughs> What are you both talking about? It's Rama. He has problem telling the time. Time? Ah, maybe I can help you, Rama. You can. Hopefully, I will be punctual after this. Thank you, Suri. Mm -hmm. Ah. First, I have to bring this alarm clock to life. It can help me demonstrate how time is read. <laughs> Hello, I'm Clock. People like me to be their friend. That's because I can tell them the time. That makes their life easier and more organized. Let me introduce you to the parts of my body. These are my hands. I have two hands. Oh, my hands have different lengths. One hand is short and the other is long. Do you know why? The long hand represents minutes and the short hand represents hours. So it is easy for people to know which is which. This is my face. It is round. There are numbers on my face. Hmm, friends, do you know what those numbers are for? Yes, those numbers help people tell the time accurately. Yes, look, there are twelve numbers on my face. Can you see them? 
Friends, by looking at my face and hands, you can tell what time it is. That's really cool, clock. Now, could you show us how to tell time? Yes, I can. Let's see. The time now is two o'clock. Now, the long hand shows the minute, and the short hand shows the hour. Number two, number twelve. There you are. Two o'clock. Get it so far? Yes, yes, we do. I think so. Can you give us another example? Sure, no problem. Let's do five o'clock. All right. The hour hand has to be at number five, and the minute hand has to be at number twelve. Tada! Five o'clock. That's quite simple, isn't it? Hmm. Any question? Oh, oh! I promised my mother to get something for her at the store. Please continue. I won't be long. Bye. <coughs> Suri, while waiting for Ali to come back, can I learn a little more about time? Sure, that's what Claude and I are here for. Oh, good. Uh, what time is it now? Uh, let's see. It's three o'clock in the evening. Three o'clock? Clock, would you show me what five minutes past three looks like on your face? Of course, Rama. In a moment, let me explain something first. Look here, Rama. The minute hand takes five minutes to move from one number to the next, so you have to count in five, like this: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Let's try that once again. Okay. I'll move the minute hand, and you count on in five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty. Very good, Rama. You are a fast learner <laughs> indeed. Now let me show you what five minutes past three looks like. The hour hand must move to three. And the minute hand must move to the number one. There. What if the time now is three thirty? Why don't you try to move the hands to the correct position, Rama? Okay, I'll try. The hour hand at number three and the minute hand at number six. Is that right? You are absolutely right. Good, Rama. Oh. <laughs> hey, clock! Wake up! Hey, clock! Did you sleep last night? Yes, I had to stay up all night because my master wanted me to wake him up at five this morning. I see. Do you still want to continue? I'll try. Now I'm going to show you the correct way to write time. That's cool. Thanks, clock. Hmm. Ah. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. Hello, Frank. Do you want to learn too? Come on and join us. The more, the merrier. Look at the clock face. What time is it now? It's one o'clock. Look at the clock face. What time is it now? The time now is one fifteen. Or we can write it as a quarter past one. The time now is one thirty. It can also be written as half past one. Rama, now do you know how to write the time? Yes, now I know. Thank you. Would you like to learn more about time? Yes. Good. Let mm. me show you.
Look at the clock face. It is 3 o'clock in the evening. What time will it be after 60 minutes? Yes, Mousy. It will be 4 o'clock in the evening. That means 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. Now, how many hours make one day? You're right! 24 hours make one day! Hello friends! I'm back! And we have a new friend too! Have I missed anything? Not much! We were just learning how to read and write the time. Now that we know, we can plan our study and play time. Actually, I have my own daily schedule. Let me show you. Here it is. Schedule? What is a schedule? It is a plan of your activities that you should follow. It helps you to manage your time well. Oh, really? How does it work? You are right, Mousy. But a schedule is not only to remind us when to eat. It is for all mm -hmm. our activities mm -hmm. in a day. Oh. Let me show you. My alarm clock rings at 6.30 in the morning. I get up from my bed and go straight to the bathroom. After 15 minutes, I'm ready for breakfast. I walk down the stairs to the dining table to have my breakfast. At 7 o'clock, I walk to school. I reach school at a quarter past 7. I finish school at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I reach home at a quarter past 1. Hey, Rama, what are you thinking about? Mm. I'm thinking about what you said. You have made me realize how important it is to have a schedule. Thank you, Ali. You're such a good friend. I think we can learn even more if you all come to my house. I don't know. Is your house far from here, Clock? No, it is not. Come, let's not waste any time. I guess it's okay. Let's go. How are we going to get into your house, Clock? Your door is so small. Don't worry, Ali and Rama. I will shrink you to the right size and you will be able to go in. Come, Ali and Rama. Here are some questions on time. I want you to answer them. Try to remember what we have learned. Okay, I will try. But it would be better if we do it together. You mean the questions are too easy for you? Then why don't you help Ali and Rama answer them? Good. You may start now. Mm. 
Johan and his family reached the zoo one hour after 10.30. What time do they reach the zoo? The animal circus starts at 1.50 and ends at 2.25. How long does the show last? They leave the zoo two hours after the animal circus end. At what time do they leave? We can answer questions 1, 2 and 3, but questions 4, 5 and 6 are a little difficult. Okay, we will go through them one by one. Let's start with question 1. What is the answer, Ali? That's easy. It is half past six or 6.30. Good. You are right, Ali. How about question two, Rama? Is it a quarter past seven or 7.15? Am I right? Right. What's the answer for question 3, Mousy? Are you sure, Mousy? Your answer is wrong. What should it be, Ali? Oh, it is a quarter past three or three fifteen. You are right. You are a fast learner indeed. Now, Suri, could you please show us how to answer the following questions? Okay, let me show you how to answer questions four, five and six. <laughs> Johan and his family reached the zoo one hour after 10.30. What time do they reach the zoo? They reached the zoo at 11.30 because one hour after 10.30 is 11.30. The animal circus starts at 1.50 and ends at 2.25. How long does the show last?
The answer is the show lasts for 35 minutes. It is 35 minutes from 150 to 225. 150, 155, 2 o'clock, 2 5, 2 10, 2 15, 2 20, 2 25. The answer is 35 minutes. Yes, Mousy. Question 6. They leave the zoo two hours after the animal circus end. At what time do they leave? For question 6, the answer is 4.25. Or 25 minutes past 4. How did you get the answer? The show ends at 2.25. So, just add 2 hours to that. And the answer is 4.25. Do you understand now, Ali, Rama? Yes, yes we, we do. do. We have learned a lot today. Can we go out and play some games? Thank you, Ali. But I need to take my nap now. I am feeling very tired. I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. How about you, Mousy? I'm happy that both of you enjoyed our lesson today. Hopefully you can apply what you have learned in your everyday life. I have to go now. I will see you again. Bye! 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 What we learned was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was interesting too. I've learned a lot from you, Suri and Clock. Thank you, Ali, for being a friend and willing to share what you know with me. Oh, you're welcome. Whoops, it's getting late. I have to go now. My mom will be worried if I'm late. Okay. Go carefully and I'll see you at school tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye. 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 Let us all learn the button. Turn the day into a night Time passed by and realized Don't take pleasure in